Good morning, y'all. It's photo shoot day. Ah! <laughs> Listen, we've had a tumultuous 48 to 72 hours, but the Lord is faithful. So, first of all, good morning. Happy Friday, you guys. It's August 16th, and it is 7. What time is it? Um. 7.25 in the morning, I am up. I just got back from walking Onyx. And today is photo shoot day. So if you're new to the channel, I do a birthday photo shoot every year. And I am doing my birthday photo shoot early. My birthday is September 23rd, but I, I get my photo shoot done the month before. Just because I wanna like do like a little rollout. I wanna use these photos for my website and like update my photos and stuff and my profile photos. So today is photo shoot day. Now, the last three days have been so chaotic. I haven't vlogged at all, um, but it was so chaotic. But the Lord is faithful, and I'm so excited for today. So I'm up early. I have a little bit of client work that I, just one quick thing I have to do. So I'm about to go upstairs and do that. Eat my breakfast. Yes, it's tropical smoothie. Don't even just let it be what it is. And then we're gonna get ready. So I need to pack my content bag, which is a little more extensive than the the bag you saw last vlog uh, but I am I have all my outfits laid out I'm gonna go through my outfits just one more time make sure like I really want to get photos in these in these looks and then we're gonna do our hair we're gonna do our makeup and we have time but I need to leave here by 12 the photo shoot time is at 1 so I need to leave here by like 11 45 50 12 to get there a few minutes early get settled and check in and everything i'm super excited to take you guys with me it'll probably be a quick vlog because i have today's photo shoot we'll come home and we'll we'll maybe i might be in the mood to film a little more content i couldn't film my original pieces of content just because of how crazy the last couple days have been but i'm hoping that once i do the photo shoot because i already have my hair and makeup done and i'll already be dressed i can like film some other content for youtube We'll chill. Also, the time of month is coming, so I'm praying that she doesn't like officially start until after this shoot. But I'm starting to get like some symptoms. You know, you know that. You know, you know. It's that time. Anyway, long intro, but hi, good morning, and happy Friday. I'm so excited for this video. I cannot wait for y'all to see this studio. It is beautiful. Like, y'all, it's so beautiful, and. I got my Sony ZV-E10 back, so for the last month it was shipped off with Best Buy for some repairs. The baby girl's back home, she's working beautifully, and so I'll be vlogging probably from that camera, but I'll take both cameras so that way I can get some better content angles for you guys. I'm, gonna, I'm doing a lot, of, a lot of content today, so anyway, good morning, like I said, and we're gonna get started with the day. Tropical smoothie in tow, don't mind the hole in the bag, and um, yeah, I will check back in with you guys once we're sitting down to do our makeup. Also, my skin. Let me tell y'all something. I had a pimple right here. See her? She was full, fully grown last night. But by the grace and mercy of the Lord, I did like a small exfoliation. I did a good deep clean. And she's gone. So my skin looks great because I was so nervous my skin was going to look trash. For this photo shoot, especially because like hormonal acne is a thing. But she's coming together. And my, I went and got a facial earlier this week and my esthetician was like yeah because i have such dry skin in those problem areas that we've been working on i went and got two of the aquaphor um balm sticks and so every time my face gets dry i just slap in fact i'll do it right now i'll show you okay so this is what it looks like pops up and then i just do a little twist a little twist and then literally i just like swoop it all over have like a greasy little face but i'll put it all on my problem areas because i've had some really rough not rough but very dry patches along this area which we talked about at length in other vlogs so i'm not gonna bring it up here but um yeah and that's been helping i've been doing it for the last couple of days so i'm gonna keep doing that sorry i'm gonna keep doing that see how my skin continues to improve but yes my face is moisturized I like a little little glow stick and um i'm feeling really good about today so <sighs> thank you father for being faithful and so kind all right let's go upstairs and knock out some work really quick i am putting myself on a little time schedule it's 7 30 i think i can be done with my client task by 8 30 8 15 
and then that gives me 45 minutes to do my hair from nine and then nine to ten I can do makeup and get dressed and then I really want to go to Trader Joe's and get a bouquet of flowers for one of the shots and then head over so this should work out beautifully in Jesus name amen amen Makeup is done. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep my hair in these rollers for as long as possible, which means I may have to go to Trader Joe's looking like this, which is completely unhinged. But we have to do what we gotta do for the shot. So um, I'm gonna wash my hands and wash off the makeup, and then, or you know, wash the makeup off my hands, and put on the first outfit of the day. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, I'm ready when you are. <laughs> oh my God, this is so beautiful. Yeah, but I was like, I want everything. So. So you know I had a level true serving this order up The ass fat, I needed two plates, I'm in a cut I've been playing all your favorite songs I think it's something in the air That found us lost
right, you guys. So we are, sorry, we are done. I hope you guys liked the little behind the scenes. I was trying to film and shoot at the same time. But, oh my gosh. It was beautiful. Hold on, put this bag down. It was so stinking beautiful. I will link their website and everything down below if you're in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. Um, cute. And come to find out, they actually go to my church. So, the irony. Um, anyway, we are heading out of here. I need to get far away. I feel like I'm like I hit that person's car oh my goodness I feel like I hit that person's car um but I'm gonna head back home I'm gonna stop and get kava because I need something to eat and I um I am on my time of the month so I need to make sure I am eating healthy so I'm gonna head home I'm rambling because I'm so scared I feel like I really hit that person's car and I Get me out of here. Get me, get me, get me out of here. Okay, so I'm back home. I'm changed. I am comfortable. And I think what I'm gonna do is I did get kava. Almost went and got McDonald's, but I'm proud of myself. I didn't. I got kava. So I'm gonna eat. And what I think I wanna do is film. My makeup came out so good today. Oh, thank you, Lord. It came out so well. So I want to film content while my hair and my makeup looks as good as it does otherwise this will be not a waste but it won't be a full we could we could maximize so here's what i'm thinking i think i'm going to film a faith-based video topic video haven't done that in a few months and then i want to film a full denim haul video i was going to do an h m haul video but i just don't feel like changing that many clothes in and out but jeans i can do i can do amount of jeans and just like rapid fire recommend you guys some jeans that i recently purchased places that are really good for curvy and thicker women mid-size fashion all the way to plus size so i think if i do those two videos that's a win and then i'm gonna i'm gonna shut it down i'm going to lay on this couch or go upstairs and start editing and knock out some work and relax because it is my official day one so I want to get as much as I can can while I have the energy because once this energy comes down, she's down. All right, y'all. It's like 10.30 at night and we are finally about to go to bed. I'm so sad to take this makeup off. I ended up not filming anything. I was FaceTiming my mom and she was like, look, just let your day one be your day one. Don't do too much. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Sorry, this tripod is gonna be slipping. I don't, I'm so glad about that new tripod, but this one is irritating me. It's just like, oh, I hate this tripod now. We're gonna do a very botched makeup removal process and go to sleep. Do y'all see this? This tripod is so irritating. We're taking off the makeup. I'm exhausted. I thought I was gonna try to film some uh, YouTube content and I got so tired all of a sudden, just like so incredibly sleepy. So I was like, you know what? Take the L, girl. It's day one. You don't want to buy nothing. I know I should be doing like a full cleansing routine. I just don't have it in me right now. Anyway, tomorrow. What do we have tomorrow? So tomorrow, I'm going to wake up. And I am going to try to film some content in the morning if I'm up for it. And then we're going to this event. Um, like I was saying, I'm going to this event tomorrow that's like meant to pour into creatives. Hosted by Belinda, who's a friend from, of mine from church. And she actually owns her own. She created her own podcast. So we're going to go. And check that out. This is a very botched version of taking off your makeup. Do not follow me. Do as I say, not as I do. It's because this is a terrible job. Good night. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, now lipstick on my teeth. Mm -mm. Wow, that's embarrassing. Okay. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. Uh, we didn't get nothing done after filming. I, I didn't film anything yesterday, actually. I just did some work and laid on the couch and let my day one be my day one. But it is Saturday, August um, 17th. It is also day two. We are literally the first 48. We're struggle busting it, but we'll be good. 
I am dressed. I'm about to film the last day of the what I wore this week. And then we're going to head out to the event that I told you guys about. So I mentioned yesterday, I think, but um, I'm heading out to a day of creative rest or a day of rest with creatives. I'll put the invitation on the screen. So I'm about to go there. I'm very hungry and I really want some very salty McDonald's fries. So we're going to drive through McDonald's and get some fries. I do think they have food there, but I haven't eaten anything yet. And it is 12, 18. So we're going to put some sneakers on or some shoes or whatever and head that way but I just wanted to pop in say hello I am gonna vlog um I need a brush I need some um I am gonna vlog parts of today so you'll be with me for that but yeah let me film this what I wore and then I'll pick you guys back up when we're in the car all right you guys so I am here I just parked I'm debating if I want to wear these sunglasses I got these from ASOS do y'all see that beautiful little tint? It's so cute. I was trying to do something different because y'all know I like my like aviator style glasses. I was trying to like be different with the shape. Oh, these are always like a good staple. Maybe these. Hmm. I think my face frame is like perfect for these, but I also know I, mean, I want to try something different. So I'm not sure. We are here. I just have to do one quick post for socials for my client and then we can go but I did pop some ibuprofen I have been snacking on these high shoes if y'all have never heard of high shoes these are like softer than Laffy Taffy's but better than a now later Starburst these are just like great candy and um I'm obsessed hopefully my lip color diffuses out let me see I packed my little toiletry bag. I got this from Sephora when I was in New York. Yeah. I don't know if I like these anymore. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to pack both, but we'll start off with this Oat and Lotion Alien Goddess by Mugler. This is a great fragrance, it's very sweet. This is exactly what I need when I don't look and feel my best. I will see y'all inside. And I left my handheld thing, so hopefully I get some decent angles, but let's go. I'll see you guys when we get inside. <laughs> So abide is under the umbrella of Rose and Bloom. And basically this came about last year. I had like a vision of all of us blossoming in beautiful gardens of life and it's being tended by the Lord, right? That's what led to this. And of course it falls in line with season three of A Rose and Bloom because we're focusing on the woman created and how they pull all their gifts from the ultimate creator, God. So it's like, <laughs> We can do this like this is this is gonna be fun and great um so as you can see here we're going to do some painting and whatnot um but i just wanted to quickly share a little quick word on rest and restoration before we get into all of it okay so rest we know it's important and so we do what we can in this society to rest but we don't get enough of it um and as creatives we have deadlines to meet, things to film, shoots to attend. God was the ultimate creator, the architect of this world that we live in, and yet he still rested. So it's like, all right, cool. <clears throat> Lord, we're gonna rest. We're gonna plan the vacations. We're gonna clear the schedules. Um, and it's all good and great. Sometimes we'll go on those vacations or clear the schedule and like sleep in and do the things. And we come back and we're like, oh, this was good. This is everything we needed. But sometimes we come back from that and it's like, oh, I want to go back I need more rest like I need to like not do the things that I'm doing I need to relax a little bit more but I remember coming back home at the end of June flying in from Reagan which is crazy I hate Reagan but we move um and crawling into bed and just like looking up at the ceiling and like 
just tears rolling up in my eyes and literally just saying, I need Jesus, right? And it wasn't necessarily because I was like cutting up or like doing anything crazy in the month of June. I was just so tired. And I was like, I need something deeper than just a vacation, than just sleeping in, um, binge watching Modern Family on Netflix, <laughs> right? Like I needed, I needed real rest. And as I was thinking on this leading into July, because I was like, July is probably going to be the heaviest travel month. Um, there are a lot of verses that came to mind. Now, of course, like I was raised in the church. So like the first thing that really came was like, come to me all who are weary and I will give you rest. Right. And that's Matthew 11, 28. Um, but one that really, really settled in my heart was Psalm 23. Like the first few verses, verses one through three. But specifically three where it says he restores my soul mm -mm. and the definition of soul that we're going to be using today and the one that i agree with is your mind will and emotions right and then when you think of restore it means to repair to renovate or return to a former condition i remember reading a bible plan on like the U version and it was talking about how the lord's restoration can also be a return to that former condition but in a better way than it was before even so you're being restored to a former condition but like even better than it was before and i realized then that rest is important yes but it needs to go hand in hand with restoration right and i was just thinking like as creatives especially what would our souls our our mindsets our work and even our lives look like if we were not only restored or rested, but allowed God to do the deep work of restoration within us. There are a lot of ways to do that, um, but the number one way that I just found that works is just following the things that Jesus did. But one of the most helpful things that I found and that he did was just going away to be with the Lord. He, Jesus did this constantly in his ministry and you see that throughout the gospels. And recognizing that when we spend time with God, in true silence and solitude, he fills our empty tanks and he'll give us the restoration and the creativity we need to keep going. Um, another way that he's done this is not saying yes to everything and setting healthy boundaries, okay? Because Jesus certainly did that. You see that in Mark 4:36, where he like leaves the crowd with his disciples and gets on a boat and is like, Bye. right? And all those people wanted something. Um, but why did he do that? Because when he went away with the Lord, he was reminded of his original calling and reestablished what he came to do. When we spend that time with the Lord and let him do that deep work, it reestablishes our God-given ability and talents and calling so we know what to give our time and energy to. And so he makes sure that we lack nothing as well. So in saying no to certain opportunities, we have faith that the opportunity will either come again or it's gonna be an even bigger and better opportunity. And the last one is just doing ministry in a different way. Yes, we know that Jesus did what he had to do when he was here on earth, um, but he was still with his disciples, his friends, right? And um, his family, and we see that in like John 12, one, two, three. Um, he was eating with them and doing ministry alongside them. Um, has anybody watched The Chosen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a really good, depiction of the life of Jesus and how he really lived here right and it's a good it's a good way to really like see what it could have been like like it's not just Jesus the Messiah Savior like my soul but it's like oh my mouth is normal just like us and there's a scene where um, they're portraying um, the wedding where he turned um, water into wine and in that scene you just see Jesus like laughing and like dancing with his friends and whatnot. And it's like, yo, that's so real, because I've been doing that at weddings, right? <laughs> like, it's just like me. Um, and he was just living life, which is a ministry in itself, if we're honest, right? And I truly believe that rather than focusing on urgency and productivity and survival and all these things, um, this kind of rest really emphasizes ease. Um, it's spacious and it's protected. Because we have a good shepherd in Christ who makes sure that we lack nothing. He leads us to still waters, like it says in the psalm, and he'll restore our souls because he loves us. And the work that we do, because at the end of the day, especially if we're doing it in his name, he loves us.
loves the things that we do. He loves the things that we create, right? Because our creative skills and attributes all point to his glory. And it's like, yo, God, you, you really created everything, right? He gives the content creators the eyes and the vision to put things together. He gives um, creative directors, right? The opportunity to bring other creatives together and just do what they need to do. Authors, the, the way y'all be putting sentences together and telling <laughs> stories, like, he, he does that, right? And so he will do all that and he can help us to do those. And um, there's that aspect of making sure that we don't have to burn out in the things that he's given us the ability to do. Um, as long as we abide in him and follow his blueprint, which is all there for us to see. Let's start putting in the time to rest and be restored. But yeah, that's all the same. Yay! I love how everyone already has the app on their phone. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, I'm looking for Insta. Wow, that's the cutest fish. First of all, I don't need you. I don't need you over here watching me. Well, I'm trying to. I can't draw. Move. So something that a fish. Move away from me. Get away from me. Now, how am I supposed to draw somebody's neck? This is hard. Kind of trying to, maybe I don't. We'll see what happens. I might paint this whole thing black and just call it a day. I don't know, and no one ever has to find out. Okay, this might come out better than I expected. I'm starting. I'm starting to see a vision. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel pretty encouraged right now because I'm stressed inside, but I feel like you can't tell what I'm going through. So praise the Lord. Actually, I feel like it was actually. Okay, cute, cute. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.
almond. Yeah, they're made for almond. But can almond? you can't taste the almond. No. Yeah, but, but if you're you allergic, please don't eat them. You, you <laughs> <get it>. oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today. I'm not quite sure what possessed me to decide to come to Trader Joe's on a Saturday at 5 in the evening. I feel like I'm losing my marbles, but Trader Joe's was on my way home. I was like, let me stop now. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, and I know future Jasmine's not going to want to try to grab a couple of things from Trader Joe's in the rain. So I was like, oh, well, present Jasmine, you have to pass anyway. Let's go get a couple of things girl and they opened a container store over here so i kind of want to peruse container store so maybe maybe okay let's go <laughs> got into chick not chick-fil-a see i can't even y'all tell me why i get all the way to check out and forget that i, I left my wallet in the house because i had switched bags from yesterday's shoot but thank the lord for apple pay because i switched that thing over so fast and i was able to pay so we got groceries some nice fresh flowers and we're gonna head home it's time to get in the house it's time to get inside walk this dog get home and get back inside before my new hallmark movie comes on tonight at eight o'clock so that's what we're gonna do all right y'all we are back home i'm already changed and I went and stopped at Trader Joe's. I want to show you guys what I got. There's a large mess behind me. So just bear with me. There's a very large mess, but that's not y'all's business. So let's go through what I got from Trader Joe's really quickly. And I wanted to unpack what the little gift bag was that um, Belle got us for the event today. And we'll wrap up. LOL, I'm thinking I was going to film content tonight because I got home at like 5.36. So, lol. Anywho, let's get into this Trader Joe's haul. Trader Joe's. I went and got some of these ranunculus flowers. I just got yellow and white because I also got some sun sunflowers. We got some organic soft white bread. I really want some like toast and some like good sandwiches. Like four of these. These are, this is one of like my favorite, favorite, favorite juices. Also really helps with like my like lady time. So I got four of these. I know there's a green one, which I still have in there. I just don't really drink a lot of the green one. I did get my blood orange. This is very sweet, but it's really, really good. So I'm gonna mix half of this with my blood orange. Um, spin drifts as like a good balance. Two cases of the watermelon juice because hello, it's so good. And then a little snacky snack on your rings with the healthy kind. These are made from lentils and rice. Two bags of jazz apples. I'm gonna I'm gonna be juicing apples, so I want some fresh squeezed apple juice this week. We're gonna juice these apples. We got fresh eggs because I need some new eggs. Four of the orange chicken bowls. These are just, again a really quick, easy, fast meal. So I got two things of ranch dressing i'm gonna try the trader joe's ranch and then that is everything i think i got from trader joe's so let me see what came in our little goodie bag okay so you guys might have saw but we all got aprons like for painting so these have our names on them so so cute so we got a cute little apron we got a little cute little card i love handwriting notes they are just so sweet Thanks, Belinda. I'm not gonna read that, but it's a really sweet note. Oh, rose soap. Okay, we got a little handmade soap. Cute. You guys can see that. And then I'm gonna link her podcast information down below. Actually, all her information, her Instagram handle, 
the website, all the stuff. But this is her business card. So, um, again, I'm just really proud of her. Yeah, there it is. No, don't focus on me. There it is. So, I'm really proud of her. And, oh, I didn't even show you guys. Look how cute the, the bag is. Like, I am absolutely going to keep using this. Okay, so in here, what did we get? We got... It's from a brand called Queendom, which I think is black owned. She reckoned, she said this is one of her favorite brands. So this is a lip gloss. Hello. Um, oh, the lip gloss applicator. Yes. Uh, oh, hydrating lip mask. Okay, so those, these are the pieces for the lip mask and lip scrub. Oh, cute. Okay, let me show you guys. So this is the lip scrub by Queendom. I'll also link them below and then this is the lip mask as well which is really cute oh that smells good okay that smells very sweet mm, that smells very fall like very warm And the last little goodie Jared. is this. Oh, it's a compact mirror. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. It's so pretty. I love a compact, baby. Oh, okay. So one, this top part is like more zoomed out. This one is very zoomed in. So hello, close application. Oh, this is cute. And then a nice little pin to write with. So... Thank you, Belinda. That's so sweet. Oh, girl, this is very cute. Okay, so that's a little goodie bag from her and her team. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to show you guys. I got a handful of Amazon packages, but I'm going to wait because I need to pick up a few more that came in today from the mailroom, so I'll get that tomorrow. But I'm also going to film that separately. That's going to be like an Amazon travel video because I got some stuff for my Europe trip so I'll show you guys that updated video because I, I think I did a video like that two years ago when I went to Hawaii so I want to do a little updated version for Europe but that's it so like I said I'm gonna take it down relax unwind spend time with bubs because he's been in the house cooped up by himself all day and just chill out and edit for the rest of the night so I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here thank you guys so so much for watching today's video hope you enjoyed it um I can't wait to share the photos and I am just so excited oh my gosh I love my birthday I love everything about celebrating myself in life and I hope that you all feel the same about your birthdays so Thank you again for watching. If you're new here, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And thank you again. I love you so, so, so much, you guys. I'm praying for you. I hope that whatever, whenever you're watching this, this is the best day that, you're, that you've had. And if not, it's only going to get better. So, again, I hope you all doing well. I love you so, so much. Be well, do well, and be safe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>